guys, it's your boy Alex, and welcome back to another reaction video. And today, this is another special request by my good friend Storm. So, you remember how he requested the last video of a Nostalgia Creek reaction video being uh, his review on Alaska? Well, this is actually a review uh, he has done, and I personally want to know his opinion on it. Uh, that, of course, the review being of a Pokemon movie. No, not Pokemon the first movie, of course. No, this is his review on the semi-recent Pokemon movie. That being, of course, Detective Pikachu. And I've actually said my own personal opinions about Detective Pikachu. I mean, if you guys want me to do a community post review on Detective Pikachu, let me know in the comment section down below and I will happily get to that. Because now, like I said in my Q&A, that uh, all reviews that I do will be on my community posts, if you guys check that out. Uh, but yeah, I actually like Detective Pikachu. And honestly, the only reason my mom went with me to go see the movie was because of Ryan Reynolds being in it. Yeah, she's not a Pokemon fan. Uh, Ryan Reynolds was in it. That's the only reason she went to go see it. But... Even with Ryan Reynolds being in it and being the voice of Pikachu, well, Detective Pikachu, because we gotta remember, there's multiple different Pikachus, and I don't even want to get into the backstory of Mimikyu, but yeah. Yeah, honestly, I like Detective Pikachu. I like it. I was kind of weird that Ash and the guys weren't in it, but it makes sense since it's in its own universe with characters. Well, actually, more or less, I'll talk about that once we get into it, but anyway... With that being said, let's start the review, or reaction, sorry. All right, so again, I really do want to know Doug's, like, personal opinion on this since he's not really a Pokemon fan, or, for that matter, even a Digimon fan. If he could see those shows how they're doing now today, yeah, he would not be happy. Honestly, the shows are doing fine on their own, and the products that they produce are doing good, too. Especially the Digimon card game, which is getting more popular. But we're not going to focus that on, on that now. We're going to focus on his review of this movie. So, without further ado, let's dive right into Nostalgia Critic's review of Detective Pikachu. Or Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Which is the full title of the movie, which is... We know it's going to have Pokemon in it. The name Pikachu is in it. Anyway, so let's just get this started. I know I didn't have time to do the countdown, we're just gonna get this started, since I already wasted too much time, and too much of your guys' time also. Honestly, it's really good to hear this intro again. I, mean, I know he's done recent reviews, I don't know like what he's done to change his intro yet. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic Guy. Remember, Pokemon songs. Wow, you're really gonna start off with that, Doug? Mr. Critic, I love how angry everybody gets when you make fun of the Pokemon. I know, right? I don't even know that much about it, but people just get so pissed off whenever I mock it. I have to keep doing it. Pokemon songs. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't be saying that. Gosh, I forgot about that! Yeah. You're a jerk, Doug. Oh, gosh! Pikachu Trump! Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. Knock, knock, who's there? Pokemon songs! La, la, la! So was all that like a fantasy of him starting that out? I said Pokemon songs! La, la, la! Hey, Chester! Pokemon songs! Still? What's the matter? I think I'm getting tired of it. Pokemon sucks, la la la. You, 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 you can do anything. You can do <laughs> Even when he's Pokemon Chester, he knows he's trying to be too funny. Pretty buddy, I have to tell you something. That joke is played. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you indicating that I, the nostalgia critic... You're going to do the running joke about always doing running jokes, aren't you? Oh my god, this is played. It's yeah. Done, critic. But I mean, it's so from the classic good, good old days, like when you did reviews. Look, and they were funny you jokes. You know what to do. Okay, fine, fine. Despite me making a ton of jokes oh, sorry, at its expense, I, got something in my I eye. really saw that much Pokemon. 
unlike Power Rangers or Captain Planet, which I did watch enough to get an idea about, Pokemon I made fun of because it was just everything. And in more recent years, Pokemon has gotten like super popular again. Exposed it was, and of course, what obvious marketing play it was. Gotta catch them all? Jesus, and I thought my generation was all about commercial More time. or less, so it's now to gotten to more of like, you know, doing other stuff with Pokemon besides catching them all. Together, how this world but then again, that is, is the main core the focus of it. The one movie you apparently don't need to know that much about Pokemon in order to follow Detective Pikachu. <laughs> Released in 2019, I'll be honest, I thought this was a joke when I first saw the trailer. I had no idea this was based on a it game. It was funny, I kind of thought this was a joke Pikachu movie at first too, but no, this was real. Like a and the fact, I didn't even know until like that, way like later after I watched the movie, I found it was based was on an actual and like game. From audiences and That's actually impressive. I mean, considering I've never like played uh, Detective Pikachu, but at some point I would like to find out like where the game is at and like play it. If I had a DS that worked. It's worth more than some stupid running gag. So we definitely don't want to the joke anymore? I don't think so. I'm going to be fair and give Pokemon a chance. This is my take on Detective Pikachu. Alright, here we go. The film opens in a lab where a Pokemon, or pocket monster for you newbies, here's a complete list of those losers, is being expected. Wow. He's the most powerful Pokemon named Mewtwo. And I gotta give credit to any series that names their it's most pretty much almost word for word the same YouTube. plot for Pokemon it's the first like movie also. With... Nickerdoodle shocks. It just makes me smile. Yeah, no, that's that's not a good name for Vader. He escapes and hunts down a car driving off. Yeah! Ooh, I hope Crashing Car becomes one of the Death in the first few minutes of... <laughs> that would be awesome if that, that was like a Pokemon. smash move. He's played by Justice Smith. Hmm, must find a clip from a past performance to sum up my reaction. <laughs> That'll do. Oh, come on, dog. He's gotten a lot better. Kingdom. He's honestly totally fine here, as his best friend Jack is trying to find him the perfect Pokemon to bond with. Alright, this is something Pokemon I probably want to talk about. I won't pause it, like, just to talk about this for a second. I, you this. I have my career to think about, and you know the sex is always awkward. He convinces Tim to try and catch yeah, him with a Pokemon. Look at that! That's like really that's there that they built that. That just makes me think. Why can't scientists just make something like that? I mean, fans can make something like that, and they like have a degree in science and engineering. So why is it scientists can't make like a functioning Pokeball? I mean, you don't have to make it like capture and suck people into it, but you can make it like light up like that, and people can actually purchase it and keep it with them. I mean, we as fans have pretty much come a long way and actually have made stuff like this. So why is it real scientists can't make that? I'm just saying, scientists, like, get on that because that would, that would make you guys ten times cooler than you already are. Like, seriously. Kill, so you just, can do this. I when I saw that, that, I was like, oh, I wish that was close. real. Not everyone can pull off wearing the skull of their... Dead relative. Okay, this is a world I want to know more about. Yeah. The Pokemon. Cubone's backstory well, or Cubone's lore really is like actually kind of messed one, up. Me more or less, Mimi Q's uh, skull origin story and lore. Or, sorry, lore is like more, more messed up too. Enough to say but yeah, that's kind of dark. Makes you a loser, but taking off playing Pokemon with your friends is the ultimate sign of success. What am I saying? It kind of is. Everyone we know has left town, and now I'm leaving too. Gonna get a promotion real soon. What's the promotion for an insurance appraiser? You're gonna make me right throw up. Next you'll be telling me you don't live with your mother complaining on forums why Star Trek was more destroyed than Star mm -hmm. Wars. He gets a call though that there was an accident. It's the Rhyme City Police Department. Hmm, I wonder what they want to tell me down at the police station. Oh God, Dad! Yeah. <laughs> yes, it looks like it was his father who was killed in that car crash. <laughs> but don't worry. This film knows. That's a great way to start off your kid's movie. All right, here, please do it. Thank you. Thank you. Is anyone oh. missing a clitoris with a tongue? He's shown a video about the history of Pokemon and humans, and Sumi, I think this is funny. Early humans used to catch them and train them to use their unique powers for the mm -hmm. common good. Ironically, this was taken from a time when Pokemon were enslaved and the prophet Moses Mon said, let my Bulbasaurs go. But don't worry, they love living in a robot Santa's testicle now. Mm. One man changed all of this. Company man? Howard Clifford. I didn't know he was company man. 
he apparently created. Yeah, bringing up the later games again, it's not mostly just, like, about battling with your Pokemon, but more or less you get to do, like, really fun stuff with them, like go hang out at the beach, go into the pools, you know, just hang out in the grass and find other cool Pokemon. And Pokemon Sword and Shield, you get to camp with them and make curry with them. This is actually just one of the cute moments of the game. But yeah, a city where Pokemon don't have to be in Pokeballs? I bet Pikachu would have a field day with loving that. I'm just saying, because again, if we remember the first episode, Pikachu did not want to be in a Pokeball. And it wasn't even until, like, way later in the series where, like, Ash said to get in your Pokeball. Like, the other Pokemon that Ash captured must feel so bad when they find out that, yeah, Pikachu's the only one that gets to be in a- that gets to be without being in a Pokeball, and yet we get to be stuck in one. What the crap, Ash? You yeah, feel really bad for them, honestly. They just... Oh, uh, it's sad. It was for me to evolve into a better version of myself. And I discovered how to do that through a partnership with Pokemon. He did it. Yeah, tough mystery, right? It's kind of like figuring out who framed Roger Rabbit. It could be anyone! Yeah, Not more or less. It wasn't no until, like, halfway really into the movie where I figured out that, that, yeah, he could possibly the be the villain of this movie. Really being anything but you gotta admit... Really His plan is effort. actually kind of impressive. There's clearly effort put into the textures, movement, and personality. Also, the fact, like, the people who worked on this movie wanted like to make the Pokemon more photorealistic. Which is what Paramount Plus almost tried to do with the Sonic okay, movie back then. To death if this is all a paranoia agent tie-in. <laughs> okay. Lieutenant Yoshida, played by Ken Watanabe, because let's face it, he's the Asian Carl Urban of being a geek. Star. Yeah, but he's also he's one of the, like the most credible and like best <laughs> actors you could ever ask for for a Pokemon uh, movie. I was just really raised by my grandmother. Do you have the spare keys for his apartment? I should go wrap things up there. I'll just pick up my emotional baggage and head back to my apartment of issues. This job, it demands a lot, but you are on his mind every day. Uh, it was nice to meet you, Lieutenant. Hmm. You will believe people can actually act with a feisty pet toy looming in the background. Ugh. This movie's weird. Yeah, there is a lot of Pokemon that got really, really shafted in this movie. Snubble being one of them. Also, do Snubbles just replace the police dogs in this world? Now that I think about it, we don't really see many, like, regular animals in this world. So did Pokemon just really take over all normal animal life in this movie? Or in this movie's own universe, basically, that it's setting up? He goes to his father's apartment where he I mean, I guess probably that would make more sense. I've been waiting to see who would open up that mailbox. You just walked into quite a story. I have to admit, I thought this was going to be another bland, tough woman with no personality, but they quickly establish that's what she's trying to be and isn't especially good at it. Stories like this spread fear, and they're afraid of Also, she's trying to be way too symbolic to while in that light, I guess, but scoop, and that's, the hard <laughs> that's her character, basically, in a nutshell. She has really good dialogue. Ooh. I work for the CM blog, making Pokemon listicles all day, okay? Top 10 cutest Pokemon. Yeah, my grandma loves those. Yeah, newsflash, they're all cute. Oh, I don't know. Flash, yeah, I mean... Is a little jeez, Doug, really? It's a story, but Tim has no But yeah, most Pokemon so do stay cute even when they evolve. Left off. Some more than others. All right, Johnny. But what about my money? I wasn't. I forgot that was in this movie. <laughs> That's a surprising little uh, callback. He comes across Ivan Ooze's bowel movement, which gets exposed to some of the Pokemon outside, yep. turning them into blood-hungry animals. But that doesn't distract him from the real discovery of Pikachu, voiced by Ryan Reynolds. Stop talking! You're a hallucination! You're a hallucination. Clearly not with Deadpool's writers. I'll admit I was kinda hoping for more funny lines out of him, but truth be told, it is humorous seeing that cute little fuzzball have this voice. I mean, still, it's Ryan Reynolds, and he has oh some of, like, the best quotes in Again, this movie. I'd probably play him more in Smash Brothers if that was the voice he came with. No one's coming! People are so insensitive! Oh. Pokemon attack, though, and they flee for their lives. They eventually go back to normal, and Tim tries explaining to everyone what's going on. But nobody can understand Pikachu but him. Excuse me, hi, sorry. Uh, you can hear him, right? You can hear him talking. <laughs> it's that stuff. That yeah, I'm that's literally right the current voice actor. Not, not like that. Again, I have to give credit to a Pokemon movie that acknowledges cocaine. Yeah. Pat me, kiss me. Yeah, I forgot about that. As well as that. 
Pikachu admits and he was that... his Pokemon, but he has memory loss, so he can't remember that much. Talking Pikachu with no memories who's addicted to caffeine. I could stop whenever I want. Another round. Oh. Black is night. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure whatever he said makes sense to Pokemon fans, but to me, that's just a hilarious sound. I can play that at the most random movie moments, and it would instantly make them better. Oh, no. And with that, another message pops up. That's just great. But I'm trying my best, like, not to, like, have many two messages pop up. So it's going to be a lot of editing, and hopefully it doesn't make the video too long or way too long or anything like that. But yeah, I see what you're doing here, Doug. I get the joke. Oh, jeez. It is kind of a funny sound effect. It's more or less the one thing where it talks about, like, Pokemon just really just say their name. I mean, then again, if we remember, there are a few Pokemon that can actually speak. Like, speak the English language. Not that many, mind you, but a few nonetheless, basically. But yeah, let's just continue on with this. Oh my gosh, don't. No! Nothing can be too bad if that's in it. Pikachu doesn't oh, think Tim's boy. father is dead and asks him to help out, seeing how he's the only one who can understand it. There's magic. Yeah, there's yeah there also was a thing that, like, Pikachu kind of has, like, an addiction to Espresso. I think it's also in the game. For so many more years of neglecting you. Tim reluctantly agrees, and they search the apartment for clues. Should we talk about the fact that your childhood bed is a Pikachu bed? I've never been so flattered and creeped out at the same time. I find that hard to believe from Ryan Reynolds. Look, what about okay. this? Okay. That's my mom. She passed away when I was 11. Oh, I'm sorry. I, di I, didn't, I didn't realize. I didn't realize we were doing those kind of cliches. Do I sing you a it's song? It's not really a Disney trope. Channel it's more of a... In the corner. Okay, this stop corner. that. Just because you mentioned Disney. Like, literally, yeah, it's a very it's common trope that, like, mother characters a lot of, smoke and lot of that must times die in movies like this. Visit Lucy to give her the story, but it looks like she's not... And also, the, the father figure is also, too. Source. Oh, and pro tip. A reasonable sense of fashion. Hey, piss off. Everyone will be wearing the Cracker Jack. <laughs> his desk. No, not here. He shows her his test tube in her office. Did not mean for that to come out that way. Leading to another great line. This isn't an office. It's a, it's a coffin with pencils. He's like Mushu. He's got his moments. Yeah! There's good so lines that Ryan Reynolds has in this movie as Pikachu. Found, and she tells him they were found at the docks. Because any film with the word detective in the title always has to have docks. Hey, I'm not complaining. I love film noir tropes. I just wish this wasn't the Yeah, it mimics that really old style of, like, Mr. detective Mime noir. Oh, Mr. Mime. I forgot about this moment in the movie. This is the Mr. Mime was, like, one of the best characters you could ever ask for in this movie. He's on a bike. Come on, he thinks he's getting away. Look quick. Stop. Oh, and down he goes. why mime scenes are so funny in films and TV? Maybe because they're like... Oh, that poor funny. mime from the Goofy you know movie. Have talent, but they're so damn annoying, you can't help but smile when something bad happens to them. Oh, oh what's oh. this? Oh, there's a door. Yeah, that's... That's a joke. That's kind of dark. He forces him to reveal what he knows by pouring fake gasoline on him and lighting a fake match. That went dark fast. I like this. I like this very much. I like how it cuts away so we never know what happened after this imaginary fire was lit. <laughs> I like to think he went insane and is still convinced he's burning. Or you could basically say Mr. Mime died. Put him in a mental institution and that's, that's what we're going with there. He's dead. Yeah, I just realized we're not even like halfway done with this movie. We're about halfway done with the video, but this is probably a really short review now that I think about it. Uh, we haven't even gotten to like one of the best parts of the movie, which is just literally the underground Pokemon battles, which... Fun fact was also uh, used in a fan-made uh, Pokemon movie where Pikachu was used in underground battles and Ash was part of Team Rocket. And then also we're here, we're going to probably get to like where the villain's like big reveal of like his master plan. I mean, let's just see what happens. And the whole thing with the underground battle is with one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Charizard. Oh, we're actually getting to that, okay! I was kind of worried we weren't going to get to that, because it's one of like the best scenes in the movie. Yeah, and these things are awesome too. ...answers if Pikachu fights to get revenge for his previous loss. It's really similar to how someone actually playing Pokemon reacts. ...but the other's gas accidentally fills the room, sending the Pokemon on a rampage. 
No, we have a dead mother and Zootopia's plot. There's only so really much does. Disney We're not even ripping do. off Zootopia or any Disney movies That's with this. They get the answers they're looking for, but they also get arrested. I don't know why, but the acting gets really good whenever these two are in a scene together. It's very well, good. Yeah, because it's like, Jordan's a really good actor. No, I'm not in denial. I'm right. I know it. He's, he's out there. To a point where you're kind of like, oh yeah, there's a SpongeBob rat in this. I never wanted to show you this. Tim sees footage of the car crash, convincing him that his father is dead, and he admits he wishes he made an attempt to see his father when he was alive. Because I never gave him the chance. Look, I, I may not have memories. But I know this much. Oh, when the ears go it's down, it's just so adorable. Mm, is an emotional speech by Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu moving or Really, Doug? Hilarious? It's moving! I'm sure that if your dad was here. Just stop! Doug, hug you so I hard. swear if you your bones would pop. Doug, okay, you're lucky you got good actors for this. Thank you. <laughs> I legit was about to dislike the video for him doing that. Like seriously. Who admits the chemical called R is from his son, Roger. I hired Harry to trace it to its source. Imagine my shock when the answer turned out to be my own son. Yeah, that's right. Halfway through and we discovered who the bad guy is. There is only one movie dumb enough to be Snake Eyes, and it's Snake Eyes. Really? I like Bill Nye's performance in this because it looks like every second he's trying to explode out of his wheelchair and do Davy Jones, but he's barely holding it back. Ever since my illness put me in this chair, Roger has taken over more and more of the company. Do Fear Diglett. <laughs> that his father is alive, and he recreated what happened to him via hologram. <clears throat> and I'll just say it, I think this whole movie was made just to hear a great actor dramatically say Mewtwo. What is that? Mewtwo. That's as close to making that sound cool as I'm gonna get. Created in a laboratory. It really does sound cool when you say the name. Mew. Don't push your luck, it only sounds sillier the more you say it. It looks like Mewtwo wiped Pikachu's memory and stole his father away. They have to figure out where he was taken, so they hit up Lucy, who once again isn't that great with the whole spy thing. Just act casual. There's nothing really casual about this. Sorry. No, no. Yeah. The spy who dumped me was more smooth than this. I don't know how I remember that movie either. She figures out where the secret lab is and they break into it. They discover Mewtwo's blood was used to make Chemical R and Tim's father was part of capturing him. This doesn't make any sense. Harry would have never been a part of it. I want to believe that, kid. Neither of us could say for sure what Harry would or wouldn't do. I mean, I didn't think the director of this could possibly do Shark Tale, but people surprise you. Wow. So Pokemon escape, but it looks like Oh, yeah, the Greninjas. I forgot about those guys. This is no cave. This. This, this point, right here was a cool scene in the movie. Climate change. Oh, I hate when Pokemon gets political. Oh, stop! In action sequence, they outrun a Pokemon whose whole entire body is a forest. Pikachu is injured, but Tim tries to encourage him to pull through. I'm here, partner. I'm here. You got my back. Pikachu! Pikachu! You know this is one of those scenes where the actor is thinking, Please don't let this look stupid. This can No, it's adorable! Stop stupid. it, Doug! Mewtwo appears, though, and heals him, revealing that Pikachu was on his side. You've done well. Humanity's evil. <laughs> Mewtwo gets captured, though, and Pikachu can't believe he was working with the enemy. I'm the guy who betrayed Harry. I could betray you, too. You wouldn't do that. I, I don't care what I saw. I, I know who you are. How do you know? You're this series. It's more or less not really a leaving scene because he's still there for a while and then they finish the whole job. Also, if Pikachu left, that would just be sad because he's the face of the franchise and him leaving just would not be good for the kids in the audience watching this movie. Yeah. And more or less, it's not really an argument. It's just like Pikachu because he lost his memories. He's just doubting himself. But we know that like... <sighs> Again, the twist was the twist of this movie was actually really not really cool and out of nowhere. But you know. Alright, we're gonna at least try to like finish this off. Yeah, we're gonna try to, because we're nearly to the end of the movie. And the big reveal of the villain. Sorry I burped there for a second. Uh I may or may not have actually like started eating like when I like recorded this video. So there is that. Anyway, uh, let's just try and finish the rest of this video off. Abandons them and, and then get to Doug's final thoughts. During a Pokemon Pride Parade. 
I assume their flag is made entirely out of rainbow cars. Wow, wow dog! Just to cause the crash. Pikachu puts together that Mewtwo was trying to save him that night, and big shock, Howard was the man behind yeah. everything, transferring his consciousness into Mewtwo. Well done, Tim. You and Harry's Pikachu led me straight to Mewtwo. You know I can't get through a movie without being animated somehow! True. Mewtwo has the power to transfer the soul of a human into the body of a Pokemon as long as the Pokemon are in a crazed state. That's a very specific combination of things, but I am watching Foamy the Squirrel try to take over the world. Oh I god, Doug, just stop! And because we haven't taken from enough it's movies It's a really yet. good design of Mewtwo. Our gas is in the balloons. He's going to kill everybody! The gas is released and Howard, as Mewtwo, fuses the people and Pokemon together. Tim also finds out that Howard's son wasn't behind anything. I also forgot to mention. Is a shapeshifter. Yeah. Ugh! That's okay. I didn't that need any sleep tonight. I know people can merge with Pokemon, but I didn't know they can merge with chains and the giant peach. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that, like, um, uh, the ca the main character uh, that follows along with them also had a side duck, basically. Uh, I was barely mentioned in the movie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I pushed you away just when you needed me the most. That's totally not going to be a metaphor in a minute. Yeah, as much as I mock what an obvious mystery this the is. The twist no, really does come out of nowhere. The big twist at the end. Pikachu is actually Tim's father, fused by Mewtwo. Yeah, I know it was obvious, but I don't watch the damn show. Blow me. You've done well. Humanity is evil. But you have shown me that not all humans are bad. So humanity is not evil. This was a strangely worded sentence that hopefully will not be cut off as it would totally give the wrong impression to any onlookers. Hey, kid. So Tim is reunited with his father, who was <gasps> the Green Lantern. Wow. I think I'll have to find a new job. Maybe I can give detective work a try? Oh, Christ, there's no money in that. Why don't you be an insurance appraiser or something? And that was Detective Pikachu. It's... Not my thing, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Yes, it's formulaic and could be funnier, but it's also imagined. Yeah. It has its heart in the right place. Yeah. At times can be pretty fun. Give him credit. He's, he Pokemon, did say multiple times he's not a big Pokemon fan, so it's understandable. People who did grow up with it would recognize but it. But catering to, like, Pokemon he fans, this is... This honestly is a really good adaptation and why... I personally put it on my, like, list of, like, good video game adaptation movies, along with Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2. Well, nowadays, now I put Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on there, because it, it's actually better than the first movie. you interested, but if you did grow up with Pokemon, you'll most likely enjoy it a lot more. So there, I finally gave a Pokemon property a fair shot and found myself actually enjoying it in several parts. Is it for me? Not really, but... Oh, yeah, I forgot that uh, Pikachu does Volt Tackle in this. Off. I almost forgot, so, like, that there was a, also a moment in the underground Pokemon, Pokemon battle where, like, Tim was trying to call out moves like an actual, like, Pokemon battle. I mean, at least it's a lot better than Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones sucks! No! Wow! Oh. Mm, that one did it to itself. I know. Were you standing there the whole time? <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. That was my reaction to Nostalgia Critics' review of Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Yeah, that's still a weird title to say. I'm just calling it Detective Pikachu for the video. And yeah, I understand Doug, like, perfectly because, like, he's not a Pokemon fan. He's not really a big fan of it. So it's understandable that, like, he... It's not for him, but... That's good he says it isn't bad, because honestly, I don't think it is bad. That's why I said during the end of the video that I put it on my list of, like, good video game movie adaptations. Right along with Sonic the Hedgehog, its sequel, and Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I'll have to put Mortal Kombat 2021 on there for a bit until we actually do get the sequel, which is, I don't know when it's going to come out, but they're still working on a script, basically. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, some of the jokes were definitely funny for him, just not a lot of them, especially him trying to just keep making fun of Pokemon, honestly. But, hey, some of them were funny, at least got a laugh out of that. Uh, so I'm still trying to get other reactions out for you guys as best as I can, so if there's any other, like, requests... Just please, I want to ask you guys politely to please don't spam reaction requests in the comments of these videos. Because I'm really, I'm trying my best to get like reactions out and other stuff too. Because I don't want my channel to just be reactions. I want it to be the other stuff that I like doing too. So yeah.
please don't spam reaction requests, guys. Thank you very much. You guys are all awesome. Uh, anyway, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to never miss a video. And with that, I will see all you awesome guys and gals later. Bye-bye!